How does a couple hundred miles on a single tank of gasoline sound to you right about now? With gas prices as high as they are, and as we noted earlier, with a whole lot of Americans trying to unload their SUVs, there could not be a better time for the contest our own John Larson is about to describe. One entry is likely to be on the market in the next six months. Here's John's report. More than 80 design groups are now competing for the $10 million X Prize for the best car getting more than 100 miles to the gallery. The most challenging part of the competition will be building a viable car. Not meeting that 100 mile per gallon figure, but making a car that can be made in quantity and made safely and affordably. And if you think that's a long way off, this is the Aptera, made in Carlsbad, California, which makes a gas electric hybrid. And guess how many miles it gets to the gallon? I don't know, 50 miles? 50 gallon? miles a gallon? Yeah. How about higher? 100? Higher. Oh, come on now. 250. Higher. 300. 300 miles to the gallon. Woo, that's good. 300 miles to the gallon means you could drive from New York to Los Angeles on one 10-gallon tank of gas. 300 miles to the gallon? How do you do that? <laughs> With three wheels, an electric motor, drastically reduced wind resistance, and lightweight composites. It's just great timing for us because the more gas prices go up, the more pocketbook conscious people are about the driving decisions they make. Now, the thing you should know, just because you're not in the car and I am, is that it's really got a fair amount of pickup. I'm not exaggerating. You step on the gas, of course, it's not gas. Um, it really sets you back a little bit. Zero to 60 in less than 10 seconds. Top speed, 90 miles an hour. It will sell for twenty-seven dollars to $30,000, and they make an all-electric version. So the next time a U.S. official visits Saudi Arabia to ask them to please help lower oil prices, you wonder what would happen if our guys pulled up in one of these. I'll tell you what, let's not stop at that gas station. John Larson, NBC News, Carlsbad, California.